Welcome to Edwin Automation and today we are going to learn about the recipe control. We are actually going to control the speed of three motors in three or four independent speed levels. So I can go to the recipe right here on the options and I'm clearing all the previous things and resetting and first you have to keep in mind you have to check for the enable recipe and you have to fix an address for it. So I'm using an internal memory dollar zero for storing the recipe values and after that we have to put the length the length means how many control parameters we have i do have three motors so the length is three and in the group it's asking for how much speeds do i have how much set of speeds so i do have a uh, two set of speeds so it's two so three motors and two speeds that's why it's called length is three and groups are two so i'm going to input that so by clicking the input you can see three motors w1 w2 w3 and two set of speeds one and two here you can see three motors and two set of speeds so here i can fix the first motor should be working at the speed of uh 20 20 and the second should be at 30 or 25 and third should be at 30 and uh, this is the first set of speed when the recipe is one the motors will be working in 20 25 and 30 when the recipe is at two that should goes as 40 30 and 50 so these are the desired speed levels for my recipe for my motor control so i'm going to save this file i'm going to save this recipe so go to hit save and it's asking for saving it in the rcp format i'm going to save it in my desktop the rcp i'm naming it as rec motor rec motor or recipe for the motor and save it so that has been saved as an excel file so hit ok that's it and you can see that will be available on the desktop so this is the motor recipe and i'm coming back okay now we are actually going to place three things okay three things before that i'm going to the options and to the configurations and inside the configuration i have to go to the control block I have to go to the control block and change the address what I have given to the recipe that will be internal memory dollar zero and I have to check the recipe control also okay here I have to tick the recipe control otherwise the recipe might not be working and okay and now we have this thing and I'm going to place three motor speedometers okay three speedometer meter two I'm using so I'm using a meter for displaying the speed of the motor now I can put the address for the speedometer and you can see inside the configuration of this meter you can see the read address and I'm going to give the read address as internal memory not dollar it's the RCP or the recipe recipe zero we have two recipes the first recipe should be zero RCP zero and we are going to put some subscales right here for making it much fancier okay so bit scales and subscales that's okay so it's easy to see and okay so now I'm going to duplicate this thing so I'm just making it duplicate uh, right click uh, or double click and there is no option for duplicating yes here it is select this thing by hold right click and duplicate so two by two i'm using two columns two rows so we'll be getting three things see so this should be recipe zero and this should be recipe one the others i don't need actually uh recipe zero one two okay whatever i'm removing this stuff the first motor the second motor and third motor three independent speeds okay so three individual speeds i'm using for this 
So this should be a recipe zero. By duplicating, we will be getting. We don't have to address it again and again. That should be a recipe one by automatically, and this should be recipe two. So we just figured the motor speeds, and we are actually going to place the input. So we just want to feed the input. I'm using a numerical input. So numerical input. Here you can see a numerical entry. So the numerical entry I'm using right here. And I just want to double tap right here and feed the address. The right address for the numerical entry should be internal memory, not dollar, RCP, and no. That means the recipe number I have to give here. Recipe number. There is no specific address or value to provide here. Hit enter and OK. So we can go to the simulation. For going to the simulation, first we have to compile this stuff. Here I can compile and if there is an error that will be mentioned here and you can go for compiling this stuff. So we are on the compiling mode and you can see. So this will be the simulation window for me. This is the first recipe we are using. The first recipe that will be at uh, 20, 25, 30. You can see the speed here also 20, 25, 30. I'm going to the second recipe. Click here and hit 2 and enter. That will be 40, 30 and 50 like I mentioned previously. Again coming to 1, it shows 20, 25, 30. So we get two independent set of speeds with these recipes. For closing this, you can hit the close button right here. And you can actually go to see this recipe again. Go to options, recipe and you can see 20, 25, 30, 40, 30, 50. And if you want to add up more, you can add up the groups. Uh, if you want too much motors, you can add up the lengths and you can add, add the desired speed also. So that's all about the recipe control. Thank you.